Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through how you can remove the time from a date field and we'll also go through how you can find the difference between two dates. So in today's video, the data set we're going to be using is this right here. So we're going to have this date column and then we're also going to have this column that says um, the last promotion date. So first we'll remove the time, which for our intents and purposes is not relevant, so we'll get rid of it. Um, and then we'll be able to calculate the difference between the two, which we'll end up using in um, my column expressions video, which will be next after this one. Um, and will be hopefully one of the, the more powerful nodes that you guys can look into, so be on the lookout for that video. But anyways, to get rid of the time, you'll go into your node repository and type modify and then look for the modify time um, node so if we double click it it'll connect to our existing node so then we can go in and configure it next so within here you have a few different selections you can actually um, append a new column when you make a change based off of if you want to append a time if you want to change the time or our goal would be to remove the time. So you could even um, keep your existing date fields and then just um, add new date fields where the time is modified. For example, we removed it. So here we would say no time, right? And then you'd get a column that says date no time, last promo date no time. Um, and obviously be the dates without the time. But we just want to replace the selected columns. I don't really want to keep any time intelligence in there since there was really no time attached to it. That's just how it read in from the Excel file. So it's that simple. You just select here, remove time. You hit apply. You hit OK. And then you execute. Now we can look at the output. And now you can see we've got no longer the T with the, the hours, minutes, seconds, etc. It's just the pure clean date. All right, so for comparison, let's look at the previous. So you can see the T, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's no longer there, right? Very clean output. All right, so the next step is to take the difference between the date fields here. And you'll just notice one thing over here is when I read in my Excel file, there are these, these, um, these dates where it says 1899 these are actually uh, reading in as zero so in Excel these fields were left as zero uh, so they translate here to like the Excel the actual date right Excel when you have it as a zero but it's formatted as a date this is what it actually that that this is what it actually shows as the date uh, hopefully I didn't confuse you guys but yeah this is a zero so it's not really relevant just a heads up if you see that and you're like what the hell but anyways, let's go. Let's get to. It. We'll calculate the date differences, and to do that, if you type date, and then you look for this date and time difference node. So we'll drag that here and connect it. So with this date and time difference node, we'll get our answer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up. It's basically it's almost basically set up. So we want the the last promo date to be the leading right so the first date and then you subtract against the last promo date because we want to show our our days since promo in terms of positive numbers right so this is this base column is the leading date and then you subtract calculate difference to over here this is the the date column that you subtract from so we're going to do the last promo date minus the date the granularity we can change here we can get weeks years months we want to stick with dates and then over here in this box you set what you want to call the output or the date difference column so we're going to we're going to name this days since last promo because we're taking the last promo date and then we're subtracting it from our date field right so now we're gonna hit apply and hit OK and hit execute and let's look at the output 
So now we've got 65 days since our last promo over here. Now here you can see these dates where in Excel it's a zero. You can see they're like absurd, right? So that's how it's like almost like its own flag that you know that's a zero. It's not a real thing. But for all the rest, you can see if we drag the date to the last promo date, you can see now the date differences, right? So now we can take these differences and, and use them later on in our analysis. Uh, for example, in the next video where we do column expressions, we're going to be taking the MSRP price or the original price or the everyday pricing for these items and we're going to push the discount rate and then even maybe even a loyalty customer discount rate against them. So we're basically going to find our promotional price but we're going to say give me the promotional price assuming you hit a set of criteria. One of those criteria will be if if the product hasn't had a promo within the last 30 days. So for example, we'll be able to say for for this item over here, a camping tent, don't don't run a 20% discount on it because the day since the last promo is less than 30. It's been 10 days since the last promo. Or we'll be able to use our week supply uh, column to be able to to tell um, to calculate the price where and the promotional price where if the week supply, for example, for this item is let's say we have our threshold is we need at least four weeks supply to be able to promo an item, well we'll be able to use the column expression to say if the week supply isn't isn't a greater than or equal to four then don't run the promotional price just give me the regular price um, so conditional math essentially but that'll be the next video um, so stay tuned for that one hopefully the the modified time and the date and time difference is, is uh, what you were looking for though um, if you have any more questions just leave it in the comment like always hit the like button subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video